Hello, welcome to Liquid Dirt. I'm Corey, and let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about pH and what we need to do to balance our pH for not only hydroponic systems, but adding top off water to our house plants. It's important to pH balance that water as well. That makes sure that the plants can absorb the nutrients through the soil or through the water in the case of hydroponics. So no matter if you're using a small hydroponic unit like this with rock wool as your medium or any other medium, you can make sure your plants are going to absorb those nutrients if we pH balance the water. So pH balancing is no great science. Basically we're going to raise or lower the acidity of the water. So we'll make it more acidic or more alkaline. The more alkaline it is, the less nutrients your plants are going to be able to absorb. The lower the acidity is, the less likely your plants are going to develop root structures to absorb the nutrients. So we have to make sure we maintain an average pH of 5.5 to 6.5 for optimum root development and beneficial growth for your plants. So there's a couple of different types of meters on the market. One is a test strip or the drip test, but I prefer the digital meters. These all require calibration, and once you've calibrated it, every so often you should check it to make sure you're still in calibration. And how you do that is through the calibration chemicals that they will actually give you. Now these are just a specific amount of pH agent in a specific amount of water that gives you an exact pH. And that way you can set your meter for that exact pH. And once you do that, you're completely calibrated. I do that about every six months or twice a year. So the most important part is our water. We want to use non-chlorinated water for this. Chlorination can hurt the roots and the development of structures within the roots so that they can absorb nutrients. So we want to make sure we have non-chlorinated water. Now a word of caution, I would not use any chemical solutions to get rid of the chemicals that make up the chlorine within the water. Just simply leave it un uncovered for 24 hours and you'll be set for the next day. If you're in a hurry or a rush, just drop an air stone in with an aerator and it'll be ready for you in a couple of hours. So let's get started adjusting our pH naturally. So we're going to use the lemon. The lemon is basically acid. It's acidic, acidic acid. And we'll also use baking soda. Baking soda has a million uses and it keeps on growing. So baking soda is our base. So we have our acid and our base. Our base is going to raise the pH of water and the acidic lemon is going to lower the pH of water. So the first thing that we need to do is test our tap water and see exactly what pH we have. So we'll turn on our pH meter and let it balance and then we're going to check our actual tap water. And our actual tap water here is about 7.5, which is about normal. But we want our tap water to be between 5.5 and 6.5. So I aim for 6.0. So how we'll do that is we'll take just a simple lemon, and we'll cut that directly in half. Now we'll mix our water. So the first thing we want to do is prepare our lemon juice. So there are, there are a lot of ways to actually prepare our lemon juice. So all we have to do is squeeze this into a bowl and we'll be ready to go. Now I'm squeezing them through a filter so that I make sure that I don't get any of the rind or any of the seeds into our mix water and I'll actually filter that just a couple of times. Now just a little bit of lemon juice goes a long way inside of our pH water. So what we'll do is we'll measure the pH water just one more time just to make sure of what the pH is and we are about 7.5. So now what we're going to want to do is through the filter one more time, just a little strainer, we're going to add just a little bit of lemon juice, 
Just about a tablespoon is all you need. Then we're going to mix the water thoroughly with any non-metallic stirring item that you want. So I'm using an acrylic rod here, but you can use a wooden stick, you could use a garden stick, you could use a wooden spoon or plastic spoon, just anything that's non-metallic. So you'll want to test this now and then you'll want to test it in about 15 minutes to make sure that the water has completely stabilized and that way you'll have an accurate reading on your pH. Now in between testing I have a clean vial of water that I will clean off my pH meter with and I make sure that the pH of this water is 8.0 that way I always know where I'm standing with that. Now we'll test our water here. And our water here is absolutely just about perfect. It's about 5.5. Now I usually like the water to be around 5.5 to 5.6 at this point because in 24 hours I've found the pH is going to raise just a little bit. So if we set it at 5.5, it'll be 6.0 by tomorrow and ready to use. So that's all there is to it on how to lower the pH so you have perfect water for either your hydroponic units or to just water your house plants. It's pretty easy. Now, if we have a situation where we're using water that has a very, very low or very acidic water, which there are certain points when that happens, it's very important to know how to raise the pH or in certain systems you need to maintain or raise the pH. So I have some acidic water that's here and I tested this a little while ago and it was about 4.5. So we're going to test that again. And yes, we're at 4.5. So how would we actually raise the pH of this water? That's where baking soda comes in. So baking soda is going to neutralize the acid within the water and ultimately raise the pH. So what I'm going to do is just take about a teaspoonful, it doesn't take a whole lot, just a teaspoonful and actually put that in and give it a quick stir. Now you'll notice that the water is a little bit milky, but that will subside in time. Now, you can also use cream of tartar. That is another way that you can raise pH naturally. The downside to using cream of tartar is you'll have to filter off the residue that's at the bottom of the, of the water. Where baking soda, as you can see, doesn't leave any residue left over. So let's check our pH and see where we're at. So we went from 4.5 and we're at 5.6 now with just a teaspoon of baking soda in our top off water. So as you can see, lowering our pH with the, with the lemon is an easy way to do it. And raising our pH with baking soda is another simple and organic way to make sure that our hydroponic systems and our top off water is perfect for our plants so they can absorb the nutrients they need and grow and flourish. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this presentation of how to raise and lower your pH. And look for our other videos at liquidirt.com or our YouTube page at Liquidirt Founder. Thank you so much and have a great and blessed growing season.